shy to play this pull shot and that is the reason why they're dictating terms. Valiant effort in the end from Camp. I think he misread the flight, didn't pick the ball straight away from the backdrop. Losing the plot here. It would appear that you just can't bowl short on this pitch. It's uh, maybe not quite as quick as they would have liked it to have been. But we saw Graham Smith win the second wicket for, or when, uh, yeah, when Nazir got out. We saw him talking about if you're going to bowl bouncers, get it throat high, get it nose high. Clinically put away. You cannot repeat. You cannot bowl short on this pitch. He's looking at the pitch, Jack Callis. is not happy with what he is getting from Yunus Khan's bat. Banging the ball short far too short and he was in position very quickly to put that away for a boundary these are costly runs coming courtesy wrong line and legs from South African bowlers there we go he tried it the previous ball and on this occasion pulls it off beautifully for the maximum another slow delivery Yunus Khan read this one uh, pretty easily Graham Smith has still got his fine leg back, so he's got no mid off. He's got mid on back. But uh, Yunus Khan, seeing that straight away, waited for it nicely, hit through the line. Beautiful shot. This is well timed. A slow delivery from Callis to full. Ah! Optimistic. Probably outside the line. I think at night time anything over 280 would be very challenging. I don't know what you think, but uh, I think once you get over that 280 mark, batting second, you have to bat really well to try and uh, chase down something like that. This should bring a couple. The sweep is square of uh, the wickets really have had some work to do yet today. It may be just an opportune time just to reflect on what the highest totals that in second have been 271 Australia versus South Africa in 2001 and 2 and again Australia 247 for 9 in the 0506 season at 175 for 2 they could threaten 300 yet today Pakistan surely they've got to back themselves to pull it off then but then just looking back on their bowling performance on Sunday they may need 300 they're still there early wickets for them will be the key if they can bowl well with a new ball that'll be very important it's gone for the big one and pull it off that's the longest boundary. Great shot. Smith dragging it down. That's a part time. That's a problem with your part time spinner. If they keep knocking him around and taking one, the bad delivery is going to come. And this was a shocker. Very, very short. Yunus Khan had all the time in the world. No problem putting that away. That's it! Goes for the maximum down the ground. There is a deep mid on. And taken. Well, a couple shy of 100. I have to say that he's flown a wonderful opportunity. I'll take you through it. I'll tell you more about it. He's Ramiz Raja and Brett Proctor. Thanks, Daryl. Here's another look at uh, Eunice Khan's attempt to clear the long on. Charles Langefeld judges it well. It's been a great innings from Eunice Khan, but Ramiz just can't feel somehow he's given it away unselfish way to get out one for 93 two or four for three Pakistan in Zimam Ulhaq 
the captain of Pakistan with an incredible record approaching 12,000 runs and he's averaged nigh on 40 throughout this immense one day international career and a very healthy strike rate as well it comes out with the table laid absolutely perfectly for a man of his talents Fancies he might have just got outside the line in Zimam. Best time to get rid of Pakistani captain is now when he is uh, fresh at the crease. Sean Pollock just asking a question. How close was uh, this one? It wasn't very close. Clearly hitting him outside the line. Down the wicket, in the air, off the ground. That is massive. Maybe he wouldn't want Indy to be on strike. <laughs> but what a strike. He's a clean hitter. Took the bait. Was successful in uh, killing the opposition here with this mighty strike. Such an elegant aggressor when he looks to dominate the spinner by coming down the wicket. Pressure switch. Back to the bowler. That's all! Oh, Inzaman wants one. Muhammad Yusuf didn't now. Not two of the best runners between the wickets in world cricket. Especially when Big Easy Inzi is struggling uh, with a bat spasm. He's not yet 100%. Never looks to be 100% when he's running between the wickets. <laughs> oh, Appeal from Smith for the catch. Appeal from Boucher for the stumping. Denied on both counts. Long stride in. Was the back leg fixed behind the popping crease? It was. That toe making sure that uh, Mark Boucher wasn't in business. Well, it's a good comeback from Smith. Inzamam hitting him for six. He conceded just seven in the over. 13 overs remain. Pakistan still in a position of strength. Big appeal for LBW. Denied by Brian Gerling. He's been just a little off colour in the last 15 minutes or so, Mohammed Yusuf. High back lift and uh, height would have been a problem, really. That ball would have gone on to miss the middle stump by a long way. Wants the one and will get it to get him to a half century. What a prolific performer he is. 52nd 50, a sixth against South Africa. He's gone on to 1100s in the midst of what is a mighty career. Pleasing innings from Ahmed Yusuf. Just losing his touch a little in the last um, few overs, but I'm sure that he's quite uh, capable really to come back into his own usual aggressive self. This is one terrific track record. Last ball of Pollock's spell. And it will go for four. Too short and wide. And Pollock is punished. Inzamam is starting to find his range. 12 overs remain. 221 for three. Always disappointing from personal point of view and from team's point of view. Really to uh, finish the over with a boundary. Short and wide and Inzamam really was quick on his feet to cover the width and played a handsome cut shot massively built it really was a cracker of a shot nasty Inzaman's come too far out but he's gone oh my word how many times have we seen that from Inzaman Mulhak he was struck on the pad, set off for a single. Mohammed Yusuf was...